Hey, what's up, guys? So today, uh, oh, uh, my son uh, Jack and then my other son Nikki. Um, so we're gonna do a um, Kosoto variation. Okay, it works well in judo, but it actually there's not much with the gripping, so it works just as good or better in uh, nogi. Okay, so uh, we're gonna show you an example of if somebody shoots in on you, you get the overhook and you go from there. So let's have. Uh, Nikki's going to take a single leg shot on Jack. When he does, right, he gets sprawls out a little bit, get the overhook, and then he stands him up, steps around. At the same time, he's putting his left arm under the armpit. From here, you can go straight back. Right, go ahead, you get the straight back. Throw him straight down this way, or. He turns around to the side a little bit, where it's hard for you to throw him straight back. Go ahead, Jack, take a step, and then lift up. Go that way. Okay? So I think we should do this from another angle because we can see your back. Maybe do it from over there. Okay, same thing. Nikki's going to take the shot. Straight back. Or... Again, take the shot, make it on the side, step back, and throw this one. Let's do um, the first one again, because it was a little bit far away. So that's co a Kosoto variation of uh, when you have an overhook, okay? So, overhook, sprawl out, get the arm underneath, and then straight back. Or, it's kind of a hard fall, that's why we got the uh, the mat today, you know, it's a flat, hard fall. And the other one is taking the shot, step behind, and take that extra step. Once you take that extra step, you can get that lift and uh, slam them down, right? So that's a Kosoto variation. Would work real well in regular gi judo or no gi, just as well. So uh, actually, it's a if you can get the overhook from from taking the shot. So that's a Kosoto variation. Hope you liked it. And uh, like, subscribe, and comment.